I have my X-Acto knife here and I'm ready to get into this box. So I can see some dirt already on the outside, like through the tape before I even open it. So this is, this is going to be something else. This is going to be crazy. Um, but I put in an order at, um, Pepper's Greenhouse, or otherwise known as Accents for Home and Garden. So that's what it's actually called, but I Google it by typing in Pepper's Greenhouse. Okay, so this is how it looks when I first opened the box, and let me get this knife away from my face. So, like just picking up one. Okay. And I picked it up upside down. Oops, it ain't safe. Okay. So we're just gonna open this like in the box because it is super crazy looking. Okay. All right. Wow. Real cute. Okay. So first plant is not what I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> um, this is a Clusia or Nura or porcelain flower, pink Clusia. So I need to check my order. And I thought this was a Clusia rosia, which is an autograph tree. Which, if you know anything about autograph trees, you can carve like little notes into the leaf, which is super cool and it doesn't hurt the plant. And it'll be on there for years. This is like a peperomia filling plant. I'm really bummed because I, I really thought that's what that was. I could have swore. I'll update you guys on the screen on what it actually said. I'll let you know whether I was right or wrong, but I have to check on that because I don't know. I probably wouldn't have got this if I had known it was this. I mean, it's cute, but it's just not what I thought it was going to be. So it's very peperomia filling. And that's what the stems look like too. Next one. Everything's taped. Okay. So this thing feels like it has been in the hot sun. I don't know. Is it just me? I just, I don't know. This is what this looks like. It is a variegated Kentiana, uh, Hoya Pavifloria, Pav pa Parvifloria, Kentiana, Kentiana Hoya variegated. Maybe it's just not what I expected. I don't know. I don't know what I did expect, but I don't know. Next one. Okay. Alright, this doesn't look bad. Okay, so this is a I don't even want to tip it. This is a Peperomia Incana. It's cute. That one's cute. That one's cute. It's just the other ones are. I kind of messed it up. They kind of messed up the intro. Alright, who is next? Who is next? Okay. And then all of this, like, crap falling out with it doesn't help, like, its case. It's just super messy super messy. So this is a, what is it? Zebra Basket Vine Lipstick Plant. And it's supposed to have the undersides. The undersides are there. That's cute, right? So that's a zebra plant. Feels thirsty though. I don't want to like take them out of the pot because it is so messy. It is so messy. <laughs> I don't remember how many plants I got. Okay. 
So, so far that was four. Next one. I don't mean for this to be a downer. It's just, I was expecting different. Like, okay. So this was labeled a Hoya Swilisi Hoya Breviolata. Now, they had like the fullest one in the picture. And this is like a little cutting. I count six leaves, maybe seven, seven leaves. And they had like multiple ones in the pot and it was just falling over. And you know, I scroll to make sure that's the one that I'm getting. And this just ain't it. That ain't it. That ain't it. No. I don't know. I had originally ordered two, but then they refunded me for one. And I was like, okay. And then, I mean, now this is... So here is the, it's like all this dirt. I'm so over it, I'm so over it. And then here's the second, oh, sorry. Here is the second variegated Kentiana. Now the Kentiana leaves feel thicker than the Wayetii leaves. I don't know, that's just a, an observation that I've made. It feels a little thicker. Okay, that's one, two, three, four, five, six. And the seventh and last plant. I forgot what I got, it, so. Oh, I know what it is. Okay. Please don't be itty bitty. So this is the second Peperomia in Kana, Salted Peperomia. So I'm going to put these two together. It's still going to make a four inch pot. I had a six inch pot waiting for it, but this is still four inches. I think in total it was around 76 ish dollars with shipping. Um, I mean, that's not bad for seven plants. I mean, like $10 and some change each, maybe almost $11. If I rate them, if I rate Pepper's Greenhouse one through 10, because this is not my first order, so I know what it could be. Mm, I would rate this a 6, maybe 5.56, because this is not the greatest, this is not the greatest that it's been, but I mean, the prices are pretty, pretty good, so, I mean, I guess I have that to switch off, but yeah, I'm going to move on to the next unboxing. So, we are back with another unboxing. So, I did my last unboxing a couple days ago. Wasn't that great? But I'm sure that this one today is going to be amazing because we have two boxes that we are going to unbox today. And I just had my pruners today. I have no idea where my X-Acto knife is. So we're just gonna use these today. Hopefully they will suffice. I think so. Okay. Put those right there. So this first box is from Paradise Found and it's basically a nursery for succulents. And I ordered two plants from here 
Um, this is my second, second, I'm pretty sure this is my second time ever ordering from them because months and months ago, I got a um, ghost euphorbia, euphorbia ghost from them. Um, I had found the girl who owned it actually on Facebook and she redirected me to their actual website where, um, where, which is where I ordered the plant from. And I got it for like $7. Like, it was like two little pieces I got for $7. Um, but you can always use their uh, new customer coupon code and I'll put it across the screen. It always takes $5 off. So, yeah, I'm just letting y'all know. Do with that what you will. Just saying. I just get my money more. That's all I'm saying. But yeah, okay. So we'll get into the first one. Um, one of these is not that common, and then the other one kind of kind of is. You've seen it. And this feels like it's bare root. I'm pretty sure they, they send their plants bare root every time. Um it makes for less of a mess, honestly. I don't mind it, personally. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. I did not realize it was going to be this big. So, this is my Euphorbia Rubra plant. And it is absolutely gorgeous. That's beautiful. Okay, yeah, I definitely thought it was going to be smaller. I should have got two like I was going to do, but I love this. What made me get it is somebody posted like a huge one that they saw in a conservatory. And I was like, oh, I, I recognize that name. That's that plant that I was looking at on Paradise Found's website. And I was like, okay, so I definitely have to get that. Not a question not a question um so yeah i'm so happy i got that it is it has like these red succulent leaves that come in green and then they turn to like a burgundy and then i guess back green but like the leaves feel very succulenty and then they have the red backs as you can see so that's actually beautiful and i believe i got this for around like ten dollars or something crazy um but yeah i'm just unwrapping it to see what the roots look like if you'll give me one second okay yeah the roots look pretty healthy look at that super cute. So I'll probably put this into a four inch pot um, somewhere, but I actually love that. That is so beautiful. And I told y'all I'm getting more into euph euphorbias. So this is another one from my collection. Okay, I always have to look for extras. I'd hate to leave anything in there and the paper that I just pulled out was my, um, just my invoice, but it doesn't tell me the prices, so that's a little useless. Okay, so we're going to get into the next one. I'm just doing it over the box, um, just to make it as clean as possible, kind of, if I could get through these staples. So far, that is super good. I love the plant so far. So this is the sec second plant, and it is this silver dollar vine, and it's actually beautiful. Um, I have like a smaller cutting that I got from a local nursery here, but I wanted to like get a full one, and this one is like pretty big. That's cute. Okay, 
So that is uh, what I got from Paradise Found. And I think I spent around like $19 because it was $10, $10 for the Euphorbia or maybe $9. No, it was $10 for the Euphorbia and $9 for the Silver Dollar Vine. And then I took $5 off for my new customer discount. I'm semi-new. If if it hasn't been at least seven times, no, I'm kidding. Okay, I'm terrible. I've exposed myself. But yes, I have been using the new customer discount on multiple orders. That's my second order. Okay, it's not that bad, okay? I don't know them like that. Second time you meet somebody, you don't know them like that. I'm just saying. You still new. Anyways, okay, so I'm just going ahead and cutting into this box. I'm just hopping right in. This is another order from NSC Tropicals. I saw something in stock on their website, and I feel like NSC Tropicals is one of those websites where if you see something in stock, you better get it. You best get it and then figure out what it is later. So, that's personally how I operate. I'm just like, oh, put it in cart, okay? Mm. <laughs> if I'm the only one that does that, that's a little awkward. But like, let me know if you do that too. Like, you see something, you're like, oh, I have to get this. Like, just because it's from this website, like, I have to get it. Unless it's something you already have. Then they get a pass, but other than that, yeah, I'm making that move. Making that move. Okay. Packing on point per usual. Just throw that on the floor. Or maybe not come back. Okay. Get into this bad boy. I can see leaves. I can see some things. Already, because it's torn. Can you tell what it is? Maybe not. Probably not. Get into it! That's a saying that my little brother has me saying because of this crazy video of this girl. And she's like, all dressed up. And she's like, ready to go out. Yeah, get into it! And she's like, get into it! Get into it! But anyways. Yes, yes. Ooh, ooh, ooh. This thing is huge. Let me put down the paper. Wow. Okay. Okay, so when I first looked at this plant online, I was thinking, oh, that's definitely a painted lady. Definitely a painted lady. <laughs> but it's definitely not. I was so wrong. This is an orange marmalade. Philodendron orange marmalade. I was about to say magenta. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this thing is kind of beautiful. These leaves are ginormous. Oh my head. Is my head that long? But that's just that's gorgeous is it not and i was looking on facebook and i could not find one for less than like two or three hundred dollars like what this was on an sc tropicals website for 75 dollars but anyways i was like okay and i had been looking at this plant and i was like but what's the difference though like if you have the painted lady do you need the orange marmalade <sighs> yeah you do you do you need it you need it um like these long leaves and they from my understanding they just get bigger they just get way longer and just more amazing as they progress. So I'm excited to see this little baby grow and it does not feel dry. 
yeah the the napkin is definitely wet this is freshly watered so I will not need to water this for show for a long while and it will probably be staying in this nursery pot because I don't have a better place to put it like I don't I don't have another pot Actually, you know what? I just took a plant out of a pot and into a cup. So maybe I do have a pot. But yeah, I'm gonna just let it chill for now. So, yeah. So I do have one more round of unboxing stuff. Today is Monday. And it should be here by Wednesday. If it comes early, it'll come tomorrow. But it should be here by Wednesday. And I think I have two things coming. I'm pretty sure. So I'm excited to show you guys those. You know, if you ever want to know how NSC Tropical smells, just smell their plants. Not that that's weird or anything. It's not weird. Is it weird? Do you guys smell plants to see, like, how, where they came from smells? Just me? It's just me? Yeah. Okay. I'm the weird chick. Okay. So we're going to sit that right there. So, next thing you guys will see is the next unboxing.